Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and today we have finally a Little Lusk Lady Lusk video as some of you requested. said but of course you know it's not the classic version not really the uh, bird humming I think the version it is it's it's revolution the flare again but we have gone further so First thing first, thanks to old Gator to, for inspiring this because I started from this deck list and I saw potential for this combo that I think you already know from the thumbnail, but it's super fun, it's not 100% consistent, especially because I miss uh, mm, three copies of the Lily Lusk spell card, so I, I just have one, but if you play three, of course, this could be crazy. Uh, and anyway, it's a good deck that you can probably reach DLB Max with or even Kog because just the little the little ask part is so good and also the rest it's not even that bad. But before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder: if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So I'm here with Sharon, of course, it's Revolution the Flare for this crazy combo of. Uh, of a turn one, I mean, going second, I'm gonna show you also how this deck performs, but usually when you play a Revolution the Flares deck, there's not really that much of troubles going second. Uh, but what this deck wants to achieve, it's a turn one Quasar, of course, Omni Negation, plus Lady Lusk Ensemble Robin with two materials attached, so this means that you can use its effect twice and bounce a couple, so not in the same time, so they can actually be treated as uh, two interruptions, so two bounces from Robin, two bounces, one Omni Negation, that's it. Now, um, the deck is pretty simple. Now, we, apart from the Triple Surge de Flare and the Triple Sorcerer, of course, guys, if you miss any of these cards, just replace it with Cosmo Queen, the 2900 Spellcaster Dark, or even any 29 Spellcaster Dark that makes you activate the skill. Um, and the two Necrosynchron plus the Bulb, that is the usual package, the rest is just Lilila's card. Now, if you have a Triple Bird Curl, this deck could probably go insane and you can even complete it with some staples, some back pros, as you can see I'm not using neither the limited tree drop card nor any other uh, back rows or end drop if you want, I mean you can fill it and I think this deck uh, could perform very well even going uh, um, even at 30 cards so feel free to do it. But let's see the extra deck. We have basically Trishula, that is the way that is your um, ticket to banish tree going second, thanks to the skill. Then we have all of the other stuff for synchro. In terms of synchros, it's just what you need for Quasar. So, a level 8, Cyber Slash RP Lady, uh, Formula Synchron, and uh, Assault Blackwing, Sail the Drain Hider. First thing first, Formula has to be the guy because it gives you also a draw. Um, this um, level 2 non-tuner synchro can be anything you want, as long as it is a level 2 non-tuner synchro. The level 8 synchro instead has to be Cyber Slash RP Lady. Why? Because just in case, Cyber Slash RP Lady is a winged beast. So if you start with your combo and you have Cyber Slash RP Lady on the field alone, you can actually use the effect of Sapphire Swallow to uh, special summon itself and another monster because this effect can be activated if you control a winged beast type monster. There you go. Um, for the Xyz part instead, we just have a Dingirsu in order to take advantage from Surge de Flare and the abundance of level 8 we have um, in, in the deck. And the other 3 slots are just the minimum amount required for the Lady Lusk part. So the Robin for your turn 1 and then the Recital Starling plus the Nightingale if you go second on later in the duel. So what's beautiful about this, you can still end your opponent with the classic combo attacking directly with Nightingale. So 
that's to that's why this deck can be so good. You have tons of non-targeting removal in Girsu, uh, uh, Trishula. You have an Omni Negation that attack twice. You have even a Bouncer eventually. You have another Bouncer, uh, and you have stuff that attacks directly and can be and can be untargetable. And yeah, this deck can do so much. Again, this is not the optimized version because I do not have the triple bird call. If you have it, enjoy it. Now, for the combo, you just need triple, basically, you need three monsters, three little Lask monsters. And one of them has to be the Cobalt Sparrow. So, because you need to use the Cobalt Sparrow to grab the Canary, and then the other, the other two just have to be um, one of these two in order to be able to special summon, basically. And yes, and that's, and, and that's it, nothing more. So uh, that's it for the explanation, guys. Of course, I'll leave you. Uh, I'll leave that to the replays to showcase the turn one combo. I'm gonna show you that just once because it's. Uh, I mean, it's just the same, of course. And uh, in a couple of replays going second, or uh, I think also when we don't have the full combo to see how the deck actually uh, performs. That's it for the explanation. <laughs> I think I might have surprised you with this. Uh, I'm sorry for all the Revolution Defler haters, but I guess until they do not nerf the skill, I'll keep on having this stuff around because it's just so cool. It synergizes with so many decks. Let's jump right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. Interrupting a full win trick. Here comes the combo with uh, the Quasar and the Robin. So it's us to go, and we basically have Triple Lirilush. Uh, we have the Special Summoner, and we have basically the Searcher. So we started with the Spell card to get the last piece of the combo, the Sparrow. Then a Special Summon of Werbler to Special Summon another one, the Sparrow. So we can get the last piece of the combo, the, can the Canary. Now, if you Special Summon with this, the other piece piece can be anything it, you just need a normal summon of a level one uh in canary is to be used only at the end when you already have quasar on the field so you special summon the first two right and then you with the skill you change one of them to sorcerer the flare then you use the skill to get the necrosynchron out and it's super important to change the level with the skill of sorcerer the flare to six so you can go into level eight Cyber Slash RP Lady. It's a win, so Necro Synchron's effect activates, you get the Bulb. Bulb plus the other level 1, it's Formula Synchron. Now, Formula Synchron draws a card, then you um, use Bulb's effect, and then Normal Summon of the level 1, you have to keep the Canary in hand, of course, and then 1 plus 1 is Assault Black Wind Rain Thunder, and then Rain Hider, and then 2 plus 2 plus 8 is Quasar, then Canary's Effect. Why we use this at the end? Because it locks you into Xyz Monster, but only for the rest of this turn. So we can use this, get the, um, the Cobalt Sparrow to get an Ensembly Robin that can be targeted with two materials. So this means he actually um, uh, can bounce us two times. So that is lovely. Uh, we got, um, uh, it's, we, we got uh, actually Sharks. So not even a bad deck going second because he has some summons to go to go with. First Rhine and Shark, but, but Robin says no thank you and he gets banished straight away because of the effect of Rhine and Shark. Perfect. Then he's got the Amored Xyz to get the Black Ray Lancer. Now very nice move because he went of course with giving this a, uh, a, a material so he could use the effect to negate my Quasar. Because keep in mind, he can't target the Robin so he had to target the Quasar and at that point we just negate so we destroy that and now he's got puzzle shark to use the effect put that in defense summon the right hand shark guess what robin to bounce that so no xyz aqua jet at this point to attack the boy but who cares just one back row we have quasar to omni negate e scooped that's how you do it my boys there you go here we go my boys going second against uh jeez what is this Oh, 
Sky Striker, of course, Link Dark Race. So, multi role Shizuku, let's see, okay, just a couple of back rows, not the best of the hands, right, for um, the, the best of the starts for uh, Sky Striker. We instead have a couple of boys, but we have the perfect uh, thing going second. Getting rid of the first back row with Soch the Flare, uh, getting the, the Sorcerer, of course, stealing the uh, the array from the grave. He's got the Widow Hinkerts and the Gate, that's fine. At this point, we're going into the Girsu to get rid of the multi role. No, now we can go with the, the skill to get level 8, then the skill again to get the level 2, synchro summon into Cyber Slash RP Lady and uh, Necrosynchron to get the bulb. Now we can use, uh, we have a normal summon and I went straight away into a Recital Starling. Why did I do that? So that I can actually get the uh, the, the canary now canary to get back the wagtail why did I do that so wagtail can grab me the continuous spell card that I can use to bounce the Shizuku so there you go sanctuary bouncing the Shizuku with the effect of cyber slash RP lady it's got the ray coming back of course then I can just um, increase the number of materials draw an extra card attacking it's got rays to uh, link summon the Kaina no more attack for Nightingale at this point I'm just attacking with the harpy lady but ray is not coming back it's got the uh, engage and Nightingale to make everything under I mean we don't take uh, damage they CERN and these can be destroyed by battle card effect burn us, uh, but we got the RP lady to save itself just because why not and then he's got Kagari again to recycle the um, uh, the engage now he has more than three spell cards in the grave so if you use engage not only he searches but he also draws another widow anchor as you can see and then he went into Shizuku again but uh, now he battles we don't care He's got another card in hand with the effect of Shizuku. At this point, Cannon to banish that, so I can't I can't attach it to uh, Dixies again. Now, first I drew, then I made them un uh, undestructible, and then I used Soch the Flare so it couldn't be destroyed. He went with the Widow Anchor, so he negates the effect, so it gets destroyed in the end. But who cares? The Widow Anchor is gone, and now we can summon Sorcerer the Flare, stealing the Ray, as you can see, and then attacking at this point point but it's got the other ray that I forgot about so I have just to attack and in the end he is is left with nothing that's how you do it my boys there you go my rank up here in the Kisi Cup from DLP 15 to 16 I guess we got Rin Rin and with LP boost S8 so it's got I think speedroid I'm correct so terror top Taki Tambro let's see what it's gonna end on the charge, get a draw, then the Indica Duke, the Piper, Car Turbo, then, you see that's the normal summon I think, no, I maybe did, uh, so he basically ended on a Wolf Ray, so he's not playing actually, um, he's not playing uh, Crystal Wing, he went with Wolf Ray and a couple of back rows, but we we started with no such flood unfortunately, so we set that, double skill as you can see, to go, why did I set that? the 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 um, little last commands because i have the canary so after all of this is done we can just have canary and special summon a couple uh, and go with the little last part only so trishula banishes tree it's got the compulsory we get rid of wolf ray of course the other back row and then the then then die could you can we do not want to have in the grave then canary to special summon the uh, the wake tilt to get the spell card and he scooped because of course from there First the guy, the, the girl to search, then the um, the swallow to summon the other one and go on to attack directly. Basically, that's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, interrupting a five win streak battle chronicle player. So it's him to go first. We already have the search defler, so we are so chilling. He's got. Let's see what he's gonna end on. Um, blue, the first alternative, then a blue eyes, then Battle Chronicle to get the uh, the successor soul. He's got then I guess successors actually goes into Sky Prison, Son of Fond, so no summons from the grave and a couple of back rows. We have the Necro Flare, so of course we start with the uh, Sarge to get to pop one of the back rows that was indeed the successor soul. Then Necro Flare to summon the Sorcerer that can't bring back anything because of Son of Fond's effect. Then the Ngirsu to get rid of the other back row because what happens now is 
we uh, get the level 1, transform into a level 8, synchro um, into, actually get the level, the necro synchron, then modify the level to go into Cyber Slash RP Lady. We have the spell card, first the bulb, but we have the spell card. Actually, guys, I should have not used the effect of bulb, I should have not brought back the bulb, because I have a canary to use, even though I could have just Wolf Ray again here, so... There were so many ways, but I just bounced at that and went for lethal. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Guys, that is all for today's video. My Lady Lusk video has come. Hope you enjoyed it. I know all the Revolution the Flare haters are not going to be happy about it. But again, the skill is here. And I'm going to take advantage of it as... Uh, up until they nerf it. Uh, you can literally play any deck with the, the flitter skill and make it playable, like you can actually get some wins. Not with all, it makes it cog, but with most of them. Cog worthy, I mean. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below for this little Lusk build. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.